And welcome back to Sorry, friend. Divinity Original us. Sin. And we just saved this guy. And we got another stone. So when you pick up these stones, you can teleport back to I don't know what I did to deserve End of this. time. Welcome back, Source Hunters. I've been eagerly expecting you. You found another star stone, haven't you? Go on, go on. Ask me how I know. All right, I'll bite. How can you tell we found another stone? <laughs> Mere child's play when you know what to look for. And luckily, I do. Do you remember when you first arrived on this plane? When the dormant portal that led us to this hall sprang to life? It's happened again, my friend. Another portal has reignited. The end of time is growing by the stone. It's all connected somehow. You, this place, the void, the stones. Soon we'll have unraveled the whole truth. Oh, how I do love a good mystery. What have you discovered through the new portal? You don't imagine that I'd presume to explore it before you? No, 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 that would be most unmannerly. Uh, and not to mention, well, uh, the... Uh, the what is it? No, I'm sure it's nothing. It's just that beyond the portal, I sense a, well, a presence that I can't quite account for. It is at once powerful and faint. Perhaps only a shadow, perhaps more. But this is only speculation, of course. Come, come, let me show you the way. Once you're through, you'll be able to report exactly what we're dealing with. Let's take a look. So every star stone unlocks a new room. Let's take a look. What an impressive room. So it looks. A hall fit for kings. Leos Ral Edu Hrahime. Who is this? Astarte? You! It cannot be you. But it can only be you. The guardians. Those I deceived. Those that deserted me. Guardians? But oh, how weak you have become. As weak as you used to be strong. Look about you. You used to lead, and now, now you follow, ignorant of your faults, and ignorant of your fate. That it has come to this. Woe to the world that it has come to this. Well, he won't believe me, the fiend. What is she talking about? Some arrow shafts. So there is some diaries here we can read about these guardians. And over here, I think there's one more. Well, wouldn't you look fine with a strapping warrior? your side or is it mages you prefer an eagle-eyed ranger a stealthy pickpocket take your pick of my swords for hire so he so we can uh, pay for new party members from this guy 
So, when we dismiss one of these optional characters, they will come here, and then we can swap them in and out as we please. Whenever we need an extra healer or another DPS. Who do you think that creature in there is? I the foggiest. I wonder. The eerie bit no is. She seems to know us. What it is. What lies at the heart of it. Good to see you on the shelter plane. A home away from home, is it not? Let's discuss the room I discovered. What can you tell me about... no, uh, Do you know more about the lady we met beyond the portal? Like you, she is a mystery. But she seems to know you, doesn't she? Perhaps you'll meet her again and we'll learn more about her and about you. And right, let's go. Let's go back to Sysiel. So, how much money do we have? Does it tell us? 233 1000 How's our armour? We can't identify these, so we need to get identifying glass So up here is uh, another side quest, just around here. Here's the main town square. Oh, how nice it is of you! The very picture of youth to break the monotony of an elder's day. Wild away on this hardwood bench. Pray, let me be forward with you, O oh, sapling rose, O oh, leaf of spring. For my weary mind is troubled and would highly prize thy gentle handed assistance, thy, thy kind ministrations. About the assistance you asked me. You would, you, you would listen to my grievances, guide me towards untroubled realms. Oh, you are truly a wonder, oh, budding flower of the morn. Yet, that which I would tell you is of a rather private nature. So let us escape both the chill and the eye of public scrutiny. Hot spiced wine and a snug little room awaits us on the King Crab's first floor. Let us go there, so that we can warm our bones, yet make shiver our hearts with a tale of loss and sorrow. He's quite a strange character. So we'll meet him in the King's Crab Inn later. So from here go up to the graveyard. Dog is awfully agitated. Perhaps he wants to tell us something. Jake? So Where many dead civilians. Are you here? It's Jake? an honor to visit Jake? the fallen. But theirs is not a sad fate, I think. To join the grass? To become food for the trees and flowers? Maybe what could be more here. peaceful? Hey! I was wondering where that awesome sweaty boot spell was coming from. <laughs> and here you are. Wow! This is great! I'm Murphy. Jake's dog. Jake's dog. Oh, you smell great! <laughs> Have you been running around on dead things all day? That's my favourite hobby too. Tell me about yourself, boy. You know who I miss? Jake. Sometimes he just sit there being awesome. And I'd give him this look like, you smell great. And he'd give me this look like, you do too, Murphy. And he was my best friend. I came here so I could smell Jake again. He smelled great. 
but whatever's buried there doesn't smell like Jake at all. No, it's definitely not Jake. He was awesome. About your master's death, boy. If I ever find out who killed Jake, the most awesome Jake who ever jaked, I'll, I'll, I'll bark so much. Seriously, so much. You have no idea. I've got to go. So this is Jake's grave. So it doesn't smell like Jake, so let's dig it up and see why. That shovel has proven worth its weight, it seems. Indeed. And who knows what manner of riches we'll unearth together with this tried and true treasure digger. And yeah. enough to finish this mission with a long vacation in the tropics, gazing side by side at a burgundy horizon, if we're lucky. So in the coffin, Jake's Look, coffin. What the trickery is this? That's not Jake. It's a rotting sheep's corpse. It seems someone snatched Jake's body. Rest in peace, darling. So the body's been switched. Wow, that dead sheep smells pretty great. I mean, wow. So this isn't your master, boy. It's not like someone stole Jake. Jake stole my ball once, but then he threw it far, and I went, and I got it. <laughs> and Jake was awesome. Listen, if you go around town and, and find someone who you think might have done it, bring me a really stinky something of theirs, and I'll see if I can smell Jake on it. An awesome smell. I couldn't mistake it. So do you think you could smell whoever killed Jake? If I can sniff out Jake's smell on them. Jake has the best smell. I'd know it anywhere. Did, did you find something for me to stick my nose into? So, we can go and find some smelly clothes and bring it to the dog. And that's one way to find out uh, who done it, basically. There's a few different ways you can end up with the same result. It just depends how much you want to talk to the characters in the game. So what we'll do first... So I recommend coming here first because when you start finding information out things change. So let's split the party up and then you want someone to talk to Evelyn. And then someone to talk with him. But if I were to reduce the quantity of so now they're not walking around. Of, uh, two, hmm? I can sneak could be and start stealing. This is a, a key to the back room. Striking it rich. Here's a smelly coat, so that might be useful for Jake's dog. What's in here?
get as much loot as you possibly can. So we still need the identifying glass. You can find one somewhere I think, or they're pretty cheap to buy. A secret chest key. Okay, I think that's enough. Now, you can pickpocket if you're high enough level. But we're not skilled enough. But that's how you pickpocket. And we'll just end the conversation. Oh, a sauce hunter. <laughs> Imagine that. Quite a bit more petite than the last of your kind I encountered, aren't you? Yes, by nearly 20 centimetres of tibia, as my memory serves. But, uh, no matter, no matter. But even if it couldn't spare its heartiest specimen, I'm sure the Order sent the individual with the next highest probability of success. Huh? Let's discuss your apprentice, Evelyn. Well, she certainly possesses a critical eye and an exacting manner when it comes to making difficult medical decisions. I expect she'll be a very successful healer in her own right when the time comes. She is learning from the best, after all. Let's check if he will hire the sailors. Sorry, but uh, there isn't much work for sailors in a house of medicine. Unless one of them happens to have a secret stash of healing stones. <laughs> uh, let's talk about the affairs around Cecil. Certainly, what would you like to know? How about Jake's murder? The counsellor. Terrible loss, that. Though we were hardly more than acquaintances, I knew him to be a devoted civil servant. From what I can tell, it seems to be a simple case of jealousy turned violent. The affairs of his wife, Esmeralda, were hardly a secret, you know. And... Let's take our leave. Let's see what the stores are selling. Customer, I've never seen an aura so plagued by ether. Thank a starty. I've just the earth scroll to ground you. I think we'll take a resurrection scroll. And here's our identifying glass. What else is there? And we can sell some paintings. Let us see if you can choose the finest dreams. Okay, we've got some good money now. So let's have a word with Esmeralda, Jake's wife. But before we do, let's steal, steal some things. So get everyone in conversation. <clears throat> so now everyone's in conversation. You can steal so the coloured area is their line of sight, so just don't steal in front of them, basically.
these are worth good money. Let's come around here. Can we get in here without being seen? We still don't have enough. We need lock level two for pick locking. Pick locking. Lock picking even. Anything over here? Let's take the axe. Leather boots, we can sell all this. Okay, I think that's enough. Maybe we can pickpocket this guy. So the two bars on the bottom that means uh, you've reached the maximum limit for pickpocketing so if you get a higher skill you can pickpocket more basically and uh, we're not skilled enough yet so let's have a talk with Esmeralda Times do I need to state and restate my complete innocence in the matter? So let's discuss your husband's murder. Like I told just about every legionnaire in town, I don't know anything about poor Jake's murder. I want his killer found and tried, but everyone suspects me of this evil deed. And you're no different, are you? So what happened? Some of them tittle tattling crab chasers down the pub call me a murderous gold digger, and you believe them? These insinuations truly go beyond the pale. Oh, I think I'm getting one of my headaches. How about this love letter? It seems incriminating. Oh, don't put stock in the hastily scribbled words of a lovelorn fool. This letter, it was a show of passion. A poorly worded passion I did not echo in the least. The Duke, he's like a spoiled child. He's not a man. He's not like Septimus. So she hasn't got anything for us yet. We'll need to look for evidence if we want to prove she actually did the evil deed. Exactly, we need evidence. Another perfect heist. You sneak with the subtlety of a tried and true cat burglar. Why thanks. I rather do, don't I? Ha! A few more heists and I'll be a fat cat in no time. No doubt about it. Your easy-going sleight of hand impresses me greatly, and will certainly continue to be highly advantageous to us both. Let's get everyone together. So we need to get our pickpocketing level a bit higher. And you can get that through accessories. I think we have enough money to maybe buy a few things now. So let's check the king crab in again. Not in the mood for cheese. That excuse is more holes than a slice of this pie. Come now, Alistair. Surely you've met your match once or twice. Ha! The closest I've got to my match is when I linger at the long while writing my pie. Now you remember that strange guy we met? He has a assignment for us. Ah, <laughs> you have 
come. Yes, <laughs> that is most satisfactory. <laughs> Be gone, uh, brittle mask of age. Hear me now repeat the words of Brittle Tooth, the child snatcher of Carador. Come, play with me, for I'm hungry. Come, play, play, play. About the assistance. The game, yes. A game of blood and brutality, of death and dexterity. <laughs> Fun as herring the horror Harlequin. But, like the serpentine stalker, this is before the stab. Hush now. Darkness, darling. Hush. Hush. And listen to my tale. I don't understand a word he's saying. The elves of Gandavon. They lived in peace. Oh, yes. But one night, when the moon had hid her face, the orcs of the tribe of Kazuldagar beset our city. They cooked and ate and burned every last one of us. The light of dawn never saw an elf of Gandavum no more. All undone, every last one of us. Except for me, the midnight rambler, away from the city. I was very old back then already, though indeed I whisper of many years hence. A death shall not find me. Oh no, not until every beast of Kazaldegard has been bled. I may be frail, a withered grey, but the wealth of kings is mine. Countless assassins have ministered to the vengeance that is my want, and now is almost over. By Kala, lady of the last gaze, I swear it is almost done. Only the very last one of the Kazal de Garcel eludes me. The crowning kill that would seal its fate and mine alike. I have tracked her down. By the curse of the spine spear I have. She does not know her ill-shapen son is setting fast. Color the dusk red. O oh, sword of youth, bloody the day with the bramble sap that runs through the veins of Victoria. Bring me the amulet that clings to her flesh, soon to fade. <laughs> and yours shall be the bounty of vindication. Mine shall be its sanguine satisfaction after long, long last. So the target would be Victoria, a girl orc? Yes, Victoria. She is the one whose heart must be held in hand. The heart around which the fingers of that hand must clench and tighten until its choking flesh bulges with blood and its beat slowly breaks. The orcs of Gazultica, they knew my name. Oh, yes. By the bite of the roving rattler, they knew my design. And so they sought to save their last. An infant, she who was to be queen. To no avail, oh no. Years, how many I know not. Years I searched. And now she has been found. Her name is that of a woman, her employment that of a civilized being. But by the fork of Barbara Maneater, she is nothing but an orc, a cyst of nature, one of a misbegotten litter dragged into life from the tumid womb of a filthy, coarse haired beast that was humped like a dog in the darkness of a stinking hollow. Victoria, librarian, <laughs> daughter. <laughs> Adopted child of Cecil, mayor of Sicile. There is bloodlust in you. I can feel it. Let it out. Set it free. Undo the last of the Kazaldagar. By the breasts of Sishara Goatsakra, give me my revenge! Well, quite detailed. That was quite the radical change we witnessed. 
I never would have thought that the benign old man we met outside would turn out to be a vengeance-driven aficionado of assassins. The end is nigh. And Death what should we do here? Creeping for you, Victoria! <laughs> he has been driven to madness by grief, I think, but I understand his urge to see every last one of them. I think this is important what we choose here. And and how is Victoria guilty of her tribe's crime when she was just a baby? Let's go with this he one. He is as much a savage as those orcs. And how is Victoria guilty of her tribe's crime if she was but a babe at the time? Indeed. Victoria probably doesn't even know about her past. And yet, she's on a... Let's call him eccentrics hit list. Forgiving. That's important to keep that trait for the Madora side quest. Let's have a look. Forgiving, immune to cursed. Soon the last will be beaten. Beaten like the anvil of Grog, the torturer. All hail Grog! All hail his hot steeled instinct. Some interesting characters. So, I think we're coming to the end of this video. Let's get away from that cheese cellar. So we can go in here I think, now she's out in the bath. We can talk to her. Steal a few things. So guys, when we come back we'll do a few more side quests and start rounding up the investigation and maybe even find the suspects. So thanks for watching guys, if you're enjoying the video please hit the like button or subscribe, help out the channel. But until then, see you soon. Thanks guys.